हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कवर व्हाट आर डिफरेंट वेज टू क्रिएट एज योर डेटा फैक्ट्री वी विल सी इट्स प्रैक्टिकल सेशन एंड आल्सो वी विल अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट ऑल कंपोनेंट्स और एज योर डेटा फैक्ट्री रिसोर्सेज आर देयर व्हिच वी कैन यूज टू क्रिएट एज योर डेटा फैक्ट्री सो लेट अस स्टार्ट दिस सेशन सो आई हैव ओपन पोर्टल डॉट एज योर डॉट कॉम दिस इज द लैंडिंग पेज इन दिस लैंडिंग पेज इफ सपोज we have to go to as your data factory so we have to just type here data factory to search the resources so this is showing here data factory you can click here it will show all the data factories created till now you may uh, see a blank um, in your data factories if you have not created any one so this is one way to open from the landing page otherwise you can go to marketplace in marketplace you can click on all services in all services you have to type here data factory to search the factory in data factory in services here you can click and you can see all the data factories created till now now we can create a new data factory here we can just type here data factory click on this create it opens a wizard to create a data factory here you have to choose subscription you have to choose your active subscription here then uh, next is resource group so what is resource group actually resource group is logical grouping of azure resources suppose you are creating data factory for dev resource group or production resource group so it can be for based on some different environment so resource group is kind of logical grouping of resources it's like folder like in folder we can have logical grouping of files or other things right so similar way resource group is having logical grouping of azure resources these resources can be like sql server for dev environment for data factory for dev environment data lake for dev environment so whatever resources we are using for dev environment we can have in one resource group that is a dev resource group similarly for pro production environment we can have production resource group so this way we can group the resources right so uh, we can create new resource group from from here i have uh, i already have resource group so i have selected my previously created uh, resource group now you can give here name name of the azure data factory so uh, here um, in name we have to give azure data factory name suppose i have given here dev adf process 1 so you, you can give any name any logical name so this is region region means azure will create data factory in data center in east us or you can select some other region say center us so it means that azure will create data factory in that data center in, in the region which you have specified here some server in this region is going to install this data factory next is version v2 then we have different options uh, you go to next git configuration so let's keep as it is as of now so git is uh, so we will uh, consider this later on so as of now let's keep it as it is next is networking so let's keep it as it is public endpoint next advanced no change here next tags then review and create this is creating data factory so it's created here now click on create data factory is created here deployment is complete now you can go to resource from here here we can see different uh, properties are there different options are there we can go through these options later on for different different uh, things 
now let's go to uh, azure data factory studio so most of the time we have to spend here uh, for writing code and for creating pipelines and all that so let's go to launch studio Here it's showing different uh, options like ingest, orchestrate, transform data, configure, SSIS. So we will use these options. Then this is the uh, here we this is just like an interface where we will be creating Azure Data Factory different components we will be using. So in author, these are the factory resources which we are going to use. So let's go each and every uh, resource. To understand what is the functionality it perform it does in uh, Azure Data Factory, so fact first resource is factory resources pipeline. So suppose we are creating new pipeline. So what is pipeline actually? Pipeline is logical grouping of activities to perform a particular work. So if we see that data factory is uh, data factory can have multiple pipelines. each pipeline can have multiple activities right so activities can be anything uh, to process some data structured or unstructured or maybe any kind of thing uh, right you can see here activities like move and transform synapse as your data explorer as your function so these are different activities so in one pipeline we can have multiple activities logical grouping of activities we can have in a pipeline right to perform some task and these activities can be executed sequential or in parallel manner whatever as per the requirement we uh, created right so now uh, next go to data sets so what is data set actually data set is comprises of different like uh, uh, data tables file names folder structure from where data is coming right so suppose let's create one data set so we can understand from here in uh, data set we are just choosing data store data store can be in any form if we are taking from azure it can be blob storage it can be cosmos db kusto data lake storage gen1 gen2 right if we are taking from database so it can be any database if we are taking from file so file can be from anywhere like hdfs amazon s3 so different options it's providing we can take data from anywhere if it's no sql then again different options it's giving so data store is like from where we are uh, like data set is to just connect or select the data store from where we are taking the data then next is data flows right so um, if you see data flow uh, if we can select a new data flow here so data flow there is no way to write the code here it allows data engineers to develop a data transformation logic here right so we will see in our uh, demo uh, so this is to just create the logic data transformation logic only so rest we will uh, do later on next let's go to the uh, manage section in manage we have different ways to form the connection for example it's linked service what is uh, functionality of linked service linked service is used to create connection string in sql server right so um, this is uh, this is only uh, to connect with to make a connection string right so it contains information about data sources for to make the connection string what we require we need to have data source we need to have uh, credentials if required data services right so if suppose we are creating new link service here so you can see here a link service which data store we are selecting from here right these are the same data stores kind of thing right so from which data store we are uh, having the connection right so in link service we have to mention the data source and then uh, based on that it creates a uh, connection then similarly next is uh, integration run time so if we understand integration run time uh, this is basically uh, for the compute infrastructure on which activities can be executed right so in this uh, all the movements and transformations of data in cloud data stores Uh, right so we can do in cloud data store or maybe we can execute ssis packages ssis ssis package which are in sql server which we can directly execute here then another option is movement and transformation in cloud data store or private network so 
in different networks if suppose we have to compute infrastructure uh, and that data integration capability required across different networks then in that case we use integration runtime right so another important thing which initially we have to take care that is triggers so what is the function of trigger trigger we need to execute pipeline if suppose no manual intervention required suppose we want to schedule it right we want to schedule at specific time uh, start time start date end date we have to mention then time we have to mention then execution fre frequency how many times we need to execute that time to execute so all these properties we can mention in the triggers now next is monitor so in monitor we can monitor the uh, pipelines triggers everything we can monitor this is one dashboard suppose we need to monitor uh, pipeline runs so it will show all the properties all the names sorry all the pipelines here it start end time duration triggered by and then uh, status so all the all the things it mentions here we can check like which what all pipelines failed and what is the status right similarly trigger runs so here it gave all the details related to triggers so this way uh, this is the monitoring window wherein we can check or maybe we can set some notifications alerts and metrics we can set here right so we can use one by one all the components here then you can see what is the functionality what, what exactly it does right so next is learning center so this is also very good learning center it provides like new monthly uh, what's new monthly updates it shows here right it's having all the tutorials videos templates it's ha it has <coughs> so these are helpful you can go through here it's just like help or maybe training material you can go through here and um, can use it right so uh, this is all about uh, practical part and uh, let's let us understand uh, what what uh, all the components we have gone through right how these are related so uh, now let us understand uh, we we have gone through different components right so uh, this is the overall structure created so we can see that this is the pipeline which is collection of activities activities can be anything copy data or maybe transform data so there may be multiple activities these activities from where it's picking the data so it is connecting with the data set uh, and data set is having connection with particular server particular sql server maybe whatever data source is so link service is creating the connection data set is having details of all the data maybe it can take data from sql server files whatever it is and then uh, it's it's connecting to activities wherein action is to be performed here in activities and pipeline is set of activities so when these pipelines will be executed either manual or through triggers where where it is given that at what time uh, how much is the frequency and every all the details related to execution is mentioned here and it automatically executes the pipeline right so this is the uh, this is majorly all the components here major components here and then uh, it's th this is the overall functionality of azure data factory so in one data factory we have to keep at least these components to perform complete action to take data from the data source do some action maybe some uh, compute or some uh, processing would be there and then put or maybe store data somewhere right and automatically execution perspective it's triggered so this is the overall combination of the components and how these are related so hope these components are clear uh, to you and uh, uh, this complete uh, description or maybe uh, details of components is helpful for you so in next session we will take we will we will pick one use case scenario and uh, will create uh, uh, complete data factory end to end so hope this video is helpful for you thank you so much for watching this video